good morning people good morning welcome back to double rt boxing with me mr a ready ready talk boxing and yes that's what we're doing right now thank you first for your time and support and making this channel grow i appreciate it uh share thumbs up leave comments keep doing what you're doing i appreciate it now the breakdown and prediction on this bout between British light heavyweight champion Frank Bugliani taking on challenger Craig Richards, who's filling in for uh, Calum. I forgot, I forgot the guy's name, Calum Johnson, I believe. Um, he's doing it on a week and a half notice. Uh, let's see what he got. Now, feet and legs. Richards, to me, doesn't have great in either one of those. Comp uh, any one of those categories he does enough movement with his legs to keep to keep himself he'll score some points and he'll move away keep himself that nice distance with his um, with his uh, jab now his feet however I don't think he used them good enough to like get the proper punching power behind him I don't think he uses them for the proper angles. He just uses his legs to keep himself away enough. Because he gets hit, you could you could you could you could find him. He just scores points and uses his legs enough to reset himself into a better position. Now for the feet and legs of Frank. Frank uses his legs as more of a, a defense position. I would say he, he does a lot of bending with his knees to change levels and heights but he also uses his feet to just bull rush with pressure you know but he doesn't cross his feet over he doesn't you know take too wide of a steps you know he doesn't square himself up he, he rushes you in at the proper um, angle a boxer should have himself in so he doesn't have too much of a target to get hit so with the feet and legs, I'm going with Frank for how he uses it more in his offensive game plan and in defense while Richards just tags you with one twos and then he tries to reset himself in a, in a defensive position. He doesn't use his feet to get himself proper angles, power, nothing like that to me. So Frank goes on category one of feet and legs. And then we go with defense. Both these guys get hit. A little too much for my liking. Um, a little too much to see them advancing to the next level outside of the British competition. Now, Richards, he seems like a straight up and down fighter to me. I don't see him being too elusive. I don't see him being too hard to hit. You know, and he, he has to me some stamina problems that allows him to get hit he doesn't block he does I don't see too much blocking I don't see much parrying I don't see too much height changing he's just straight up and down a little stiff in the hips he gets hit it depends on his length of his jab to keep you away and that competition is only gonna make that gap get smaller and now with Frank's defense he gets hit a lot. Like I said, both these fighters get hit way too much. But Frank, to me, has the edge. He uses his legs to change heights. He uses his waist of side to side movement. His shoulders give you different targets. His head is moving. He's not just rushing you as a still target. He still gets hit because usually people who are full on pressure fighters take some to give some. So I'm giving the defense to Frank for his different uh, categories and his height, his uh, changing of levels, his like I just said, his waist movement, his head movement, his you know he does do a lot. His head is not always in the same spot like uh, Richards is. So so far two for two for the champion Frank Bugliani right here on Double RT Boxing. Please subscribe. Last one we're going with the the arms, you know jabs, punch combinations, speed variation within the combinations, uh, the power delivered, the setup punches. Now for as for Richards, 
he has a nice one too you know that's that's his bread and butter is a one two both these fighters throw an occasionally uppercut but Richards from what I've seen is just one two and his hooks are wide and more of an arm throwing due to what I said he doesn't get his feet in the like proper angles to deliver a power with them and and when he does throw his hooks to the body not only as he's throwing them he doesn't turn his punches and I think that has a lot to do with his feet placement he instead of hitting you with the hook he's coming in at your body like this with his hook so it's a lot of slaps so and as far as uh, Frank I believe Frank has even though it looks like um, Richards has the length Frank to me has a better pop in his jab for his uh, for the way he uses his uh, body his legs and hips to deliver the jab I think he has more body torque in it uh, I believe Frank also has a uh, better hooks uh, combination I think they might be equal on that one. None, none of them has too many like combo A, combo B, combo C to, to choose from. It's just mainly of a one, uh, a jab, a one-two, and a hook. Um, and none of these fighters throw setup punches. So what you see is what you're gonna get. There's no, there's no trickery. There's no traps set. But saying that I'm giving I'm giving the arm category because I, I I do believe Frank even has the better jab, you know, just for how he uses his body to it's un, the fact that he's rushing you all the time with his feet, just rushing you, putting applying pressure. I believe the his jab is a little awkwardly to be timed. He just like wow, it comes at you from the pressure because you're so busy worried about keeping a gap between him and his pressure you sometimes don't see that just that leaping jab that comes straight at your face so I'm going for a clean sweep in the categories to the champion Frank Bugliani and I just the house prediction I think Frank is gonna win this fight and, and remain British light heavyweight title uh, titleist now if you're on double RT boxing you know I like to do a, a little more detailed prediction from for the fun of it and for uh, the subscribers and the viewers, you know, add a little more spice to the boxing talk. I am going with a ninth round knockout. I don't think Frank, I, mean, I don't think Richards is going to be able to handle the pressure applied by um, Frank. I see Richards gets put against the ropes against every fight I've seen of him. He starts off good. But everyone finds them. They hit them. They hit them pretty easily. And I just see it being the same thing in this fight. His last fight was a week and a half ago against a uh, can't can't pronounce that guy's name. His last name was I think with an M. He had like a three name, three name name. He's like a forty year old. Looked in good shape, but even he was able to apply some pressure and get some clean shots on Richards and um, eventually get Richards tired and put him on the ropes. Now I think Frank is a lot better fighter than that uh, guy Richards fought last week or a week and a half ago. I think Frank is just gonna wear him out with pressure and occasionally body attack to help. That jab's gonna get in because Richards gets hit and I see it just accumulation, accumulation, accumulation of pressure and punches. Richards is gonna wear down with um, stamina and the the beat down and he's gonna get tired and he's gonna get dropped and it's gonna be a, a count count out and he might the ref might wave it off but I think but in this day in boxing you don't see too many 10 counts the ref weighs it off a lot which I would like to see more 10 counts then wave it off you know count off count a guy out give give fighters their KOs stop waving stop waving these guys off man but I'm saying, uh, I'm going to say this is going to be a good old-fashioned 10 count knockout right here on Double RT Boxing. Frank Bugliani, still the British light heavyweight champion. Thank you for your support. Thumbs up the video. Share, share, share. 
And I, once again, thank you for helping this channel grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you.